literally my first meeting with the trustees eight plus years ago, they said, who's going to be your successor? And how do you create that continuity? And we've been talking about succession for the last eight years in earnest for the last two years. And seeing that Mayo's stable, that we know where we're headed and we have good successors and our rotational leadership tradition, the time just seems right to do that. Now, that said, we've got a lot of work to do this year. We have a big year ahead of us, lots of moving parts, lots of challenge, but uh, we are in a very good position and this feels right. It feels like the right time. Well, my legacy will be defined by those that follow. Uh, in the meantime, we're very focused on doing the work today and preparing for the future. But I'm very, very proud of our staff. They recognized that we share a lot of things, our common purpose and our values, our commitment to patients. And if we work together across all our sites as a single Mayo Clinic with a single approach, we can do great things. And unleashing that power of the Mayo Clinic as a single organization has allowed us to be so successful in our quality and our safety and our education and research efforts and our fundraising and our business development and our finances. So we're all together, we're in one family doing the same thing every day for the patients and great things can happen. So I'm very proud of that. Oh, I'm gonna miss my colleagues. I'm just gonna miss being here every single day. I've said it countless times. I've been here 28 plus years. I've never had a bad day at Mayo. It's going to be hard to walk out of this organization, but, but um, I'll stay focused in, in what I'm doing to make a difference going forward and look back and keep my friends and watch with interest like all of us on how Mayo is doing, but I'm very confident.